Hey everyone, it's morning here. Um, it's before noon and it's already getting close to the, to the 90s in Northern California. So I just came in from the garden, so I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super sweaty. Um, and if this is what uh, a hint of what summer's gonna be like up here, pray for me. Um, anyways, I wanted to hop on really quick and talk about something I've been seeing quite a bit and it's pretty inexpensive to add to your go bag or just your gear and that is silicone keys and actually i think i'm butchering that so someone correct me but these are really handy they've got some weight to it um prices vary i found a two pack on amazon for less than i want to say 15 dollars. i'll include the link but these are super handy just to keep in your go bag in the car simply because <clears throat> these were kind of made to help thwart vandalism for commercial buildings and access to water and we've talked about many, many times how important water is for um, prep, emergencies, survival. So the list goes on and on. You, there's never a reason you wouldn't need access to water. But um, you'll notice a lot of the times in some of these larger commercial areas, schools, um, strip malls, just places where buildings exist. Um, it's not like they have a residential hose just hanging out to be able to use and access water. So these are super handy. It's a four-way key. And I think that's just because different buildings in different areas will use a different key to be able to access the water. But um, I found these also, I think a single pack at Home Depot for about eight bucks. I'll include that link too. If you don't already have them, they're super handy, inexpensive compared to some of the gear that you might just take with you. Um, but you never know when you're gonna be stuck and you need access to water. I know I sound like a broken record here, but I had just been seeing these a few times and I figured why not just pick them up. Um, so I just added them to another Amazon Prime purchase, thank goodness, um, and it arrived pretty quickly. So uh, I've even seen some people that are using them, um, attaching them to their keys, their work keys. Uh, if it, it, To me, it seems pretty heavy to just have on your work lanyard. So um, it's all preference. <laughs> But consider having one with you in your go bag. I plan to put these in our go bags. I'm probably gonna purchase two more just to keep handy in our car kits. Um, I feel like my car kit and my bug out bag are constantly changing as it should be. I know I've talked about that a few times. You always wanna reassess what you have, what you've packed, especially if situations change, family members have different sizes of clothes and things that they'll need, especially in my case, I have a toddler. And if you've had kids, they fly through sizes, so I'm constantly reevaluating what's in my bag. Um, I have lunch today with some friends, uh, and I'm going to, I don't wanna say scope out, because that sounds weird. I'm gonna see if I can find a few locations where I would need to use this key. Um, and I know it may look suspicious, so hopefully I don't get in trouble, but let's, uh, let's check it out. I'm gonna be quick, but it is a perfect fit. And I'm not gonna turn that because that would be dangerous, but pretty cool. Okay, I'm back in my car. Security definitely asked me what the hell I was doing. So, uh, but the good news is that it works and they're worth picking up. <laughs> 